So uh, China is actually a very, uh, very dynamic and interesting market. So um, for a couple of years already, uh, China has been the single biggest market for us. So until September this year, uh, we sold around uh, 526,000 units here in China. On the other hand, uh, if you look into the Chinese market, uh, you see that um, due to different customer demands, uh, you can see that there's a different sort of uh, innovation uh, focus areas. Our customers in, in, in Europe and also in the US, they really strongly like the BMW because they can also just take it out on a racetrack and it's a really great driving machine. So that's a different sort of uh, requirement set compared to China. My name is Peter Riedel from uh, the BMW's uh, technology office uh, here in China. Uh, so we're investing a lot into um, uh, uh, our own uh, sort of digital HMI and um, we see that um, uh, uh, with the launch this year of the OS 7 basically, the operating system number 7, our new um, uh, HMI generation uh, has made some tremendous progress and uh, we also see that uh, Chinese customers have, have a different taste in this obviously, right? So the displays have to be bigger and also the content can be more uh, how can I say, playful, more information should be displayed. And this is why uh, also in uh, Beijing and in Shanghai, we're running HMI teams that uh, specifically make some, some adaptions and Chinese flavor into this sort of digital interaction with the customer. But we also see that there's some new fields um, that, uh, 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 that will require new partnerships and also a sort of new uh, arrangement and acting more like a startup, or acting more like a tech company for us. Our way to approach startups is the BMW Startup Garage program that we launched in China this year. And um, this year we had our um, open innovation uh, roadshow and open innovation event. And we saw some uh, tremendous startups that were uh, basically running through our program in three months and did a great job in delivering a really cool product that would fit into the business unit's needs. One thing is, uh, was like a, a really cool, like, um, uh, uh, intelligent robot that is based on an AI and a 3D camera can basically uh, pick like a Mikado style any parts that you can find and uh, it's in a very short time uh, this startup could really manage to give us a very cool proof of concept that, that was really convincing our plant as well. Uh, we also had some applications in intelligent, intelligent cabin like uh, emotion recognition um, uh, basically helping to understand the customer better and uh, then also maybe do some prediction based on an eye for the needs like what would be the next thing that the customer would want to do. Uh, we see that there's a lot of startups uh, in this field that could help us. Uh, AI is a very very strong push that we see lately and um, we're currently developing the the fifth generation of electrified uh, vehicles. We're going to see them uh, basically the powertrain uh, next year in the electrified i3, which will be uh, sorry, I, I, uh, X3 that will be produced here in China. And so, for the first time, uh, we produce uh, a fully electrified vehicle here in China with our uh, plants in, in, in Shenyang and also export it to the world, which is a great breakthrough. And you see what, what, the, what the importance of China is not only as a market for EV but also as a technology driver. And um, our goal is to have uh, 25 electrified vehicles by 2023 and most of them will also be available here in China because it's just a necessity. And what we see is that uh, still we will have a strong mix not only of uh, like battery electric vehicles but also of uh, plug-in hybrids in the future. And uh, so what, what I think is gonna, the future is going to look like I think it's uh, definitely going to be um, more dynamic, there will be more players, there will be more challenges, there will be a need for uh, fast adaption uh, to new circumstances from a uh, regulation point of view but also where, how innovation can enable basically new customer uh, and new experiences. And um, with our uh, ACES strategy, which is uh, uh, autonomous, connected, electrified and shared, I think we're, we have a future-proof system on how to manage and how to create this future. Because our take is uh, you cannot predict the future and the best way to do it is you create it by yourself. And I think there will be a strong dynamics uh, also in the upcoming years.